All right, so we are in week two of speech 128, and I'm looking at the calendar here, and you can see this is what we were doing last week, right, as we go through the days, Sunday through Saturday. You did the orientation quiz, the meet and greet, the war story, you started your skill package, did the first part of that, and you did chapters one and two, right? So let's just go down a little bit here, and we will see what's coming up this week. So for this week, we are going to continue with the skill package. And you can see that on Tuesday, the second part of your skill package is due. And that's symbolizing the skill in an art form. And I really like this one because you get to basically create a mini art project that is going to symbolize what your skill, what that means to you, right? So there's lots of ways you could do this. You could write a poem or a rap about it. You could use Photoshop or any graphics program or even draw or paint or whatever you want. Or you could write a song about it. Collage is always cool. Make a cartoon up. You see, there's lots of choices, right? So don't worry, you're not going to get graded on how artistically beautiful it looks. It's really just a question of symbolizing your skill in an art form, right? Just for your own benefit. So that's going to be coming up on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we've got chapter three is finished, and you've got a quiz and a stop and think. And you'll see again, like the other stop and thinks, you get to pick any of the prompts that you like. You'll see there's some different options here, and you can work with one of those. Here's the choices, option one, two, three, four. Pick whatever one you want to do, or you can combine a couple if you need to. So as long as you get 250 words, I'm happy, okay? Then we have the third part of the skill package, which is coming up, which is practicing the skill. And you might want to be thinking about this right away because you might run into an opportunity anytime before this is due, where you could do this, where you get to actually practice using your skill and then write about what happened. Most people end up doing this first prompt, but of course you could choose from whatever one of these three you want to do. And uh, I think you'll find that's an enjoyable part of the skill package, practicing the skill. Now, there's also, there's a lot going on this coming week here. Um, you've got chapter four, and you've got the assignments for chapter four. There's a um, stop and think. There's a quiz. There's also another assignment called the nonverbal experiment. And you'll see you get to pick. Here's some options. There's 12 different possibilities. They all have to do with nonverbal communication with what you have been reading about when you read chapter four. And you get to do one of these experiments and then write up the results of what happened when you did your experiment, right? Finally, there is also one more skill package item. Again, because the course is so condensed, um, you'll be doing the fourth skill package activity, which is receiving feedback about the skill. And the idea is find someone you trust, someone you know, who knows you pretty well. And then, for example, a lot of people do this first one, just Ask this person, you know, what his or her opinion is of how well you do this particular skill, right? And then take notes, write down what they say. And then just make sure you got 250 words of analysis about it. Uh, or you could do one of these other options here that are listed, right? All right, that takes you through the whole week. So it's a lot, I know it's a lot, but uh, you can do it. You're a third of the way through. You'll be two thirds done by the end of this week. Again, I'll have office hours Wednesday and Friday starting at 10 a.m. Let me know if you need any help. I'm here for you to get you through this thing, all right? Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.